what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Tulane junior guard Tashawn Hightower was arrested and charged with murder on Saturday in connection with the homicide that took place in Stockbridge, Georgia in early April. Tashawn is being held in the Henry County Jail without bail. His charges include felony murder, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, aggravated assault, and battery. Police say that five other men are also involved in this crime. Tashawn was dropped by his school on Sunday. He declared for the draft 10 days after police say the murder took place. Now you know it's going to be a whole lot of singing. We got five additional guys that has been pointed out in this murder. Now family, you know it's already hard to keep one secret to yourself. Just between a per one person, it's very hard to keep a secret. Now, those numbers go way up when you start talking about a murder. It is very difficult to keep a murder to yourself. But now you're talking about five additional people? It's murder, family. How many times have we heard of a suspect telling someone else that he or she killed somebody? It's just one of those things that people have to get off their conscience, it appears. Not everybody. But it just amazes me that dude was on his way Think about all that little league basketball he played. All the times he was in middle school, high school, then college, all that sweat, blood and tears, all of those practices. And he'd get right there on the cusp of superstardom. Or let's just say stardom. Get to the money. Get into the bag and he blew it by getting himself caught up in a murder. He's gonna have to be all the way to the right to beat this case because let's just say he was guilty. Let's just say hypothetically he was guilty. And you know, he had some solid partners around. He ain't got five solid partners like all involved in the same thing. Somebody gonna tell. Maybe one could hold their mud, maybe two, but not three, not four, not five, uh-uh. It's not gonna happen. If he is guilty, it's over. Now, if he's innocent, he'll be okay because he has resources. He's a star player, he was their top score, he scored, he averaged 15 points in the 2019-2020 in the uh, season. So he'll be okay if he's innocent. But if he's guilty, oh, they're going to get him. They're going to do him bad. Man, how do you get that far and blow the family bad? Those basketball players make the kind of money that could change a whole family. I'm talking about extended families, financial fortune. I'm talking about, he could break a generational financial curse with the type of money that they make in the NBA. And we're talking about guaranteed money. How do you blow that bag? I hope it's not true. I hope the dude is okay, but it don't look good. 
Sometimes when they really don't have anything, they might charge you with one thing, like some, something like a misdemeanor charge or something just to hold you while they get more evidence. But they came out the gate swinging on dude. We're talking about felony murder, aggravated assault, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, and battery. I think they may have something. They usually don't hit you with all of those kind of charges, especially when they know you're somebody like that. You know, they know you're somebody of prominence. You got resources. You got means. They, they, they like to try to have it right because they don't want to be embarrassed and they know this is going to be international news. <sighs> Let us pray. No more talk. What the haters talking about?